Hey guys, in this episode, I want to give you some music marketing strategies for 2020. Let's do this. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries and become a top 40 billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. So hey guys, I got a funny story I want to tell you right off the bat. We have a new song coming out in June, and so we're preparing for this launch. And one of the strategies that we're going to be doing, which I want to share with you right now, is influencer marketing. And it's basically getting a whole bunch of people that have lots of followers, followings, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, to post the song. And that's whether it's paid, sometimes sometimes these can be paid, or they can just be favors. Now, one of the ones that I was reaching out to is one of my buddies who's got over 60,000 followers on Instagram, and he's a b-boy, and so I wanted him to maybe do a video or something cool of him dancing to the, the song. And I sent him this song before the COVID-19 pandemic got all crazy and all that stuff, and Um, I hadn't heard back from him, and I told him, hey, this is coming out in June, all right, so it's not released yet, and I go on my Instagram page, and what do I see? I see a video of him breakdancing to my brand new song that isn't releasing for another month and a half, and I'm like, oh, no, and back in the day, I would have, like, lost my mind and gotten all upset and whatever, but honestly, like, I cared, but I didn't care, and I didn't freak out. And what's frustrating was is he lived in South Korea and I'm in Toronto. And so I messaged him. I'm like, dude, I really appreciate you doing this, but you uploaded it too soon. And I emailed him and I wanted to like be heart pound because he's got more followers than me. So he was doing me a favor. He just posted it at the wrong time. And every time I'd refresh the video he posts, it's like, oh, 500 views, a thousand views. 2,000 views, (laughs) and uh, it was really frustrating, but he took it down within 24 hours, and you know what? Nobody cares, and that's fine. They can go search the song, and it's not available yet, and good, some little bit of buzz, but I just want you to know, you know, things can happen, and when you do reach out to influencers, make sure that they know the date, but we're going to get a whole bunch of people that have, you know, tens of thousands of followers. We're going to line them all up and schedule them all out to promote the song and have this massive exposure. And what's so cool is, is who can you reach out to where your song might fit? Like, it could be a fishing company. It could be a blogger. It could be a fashion person. It could be someone in politics. It could be, you know, anything. Someone who, that, that but connects with your song, of course, right? And what's so cool about, what I'm excited about is that the people that we're reaching out to are people that aren't normally in my demographic. So it's a bunch of people that normally wouldn't hear my music. Like, just because I listen to hip-hop, or it's more of a hip-hop song, doesn't mean I just reach out to hip-hop people. Like, I could reach out to people in completely different things, like fashion. Like, fashion people listen to hip-hop. You know, people that are into cars listen to hip-hop. In fact, there's a guy yesterday who was driving this funky car, and he was blasting some hip-hop. So you got to think outside of your normal world that you would normally go fishing in. Like, go where the competition isn't. You know, how many hip-hop guys do you think are actually hitting up car companies or car bloggers or people that are outside the regular hip-hop thing? But you know that hip-hop blogs are getting inundated with, um, with requests to review their music. So why don't you go where it's not busy and you'll have even more of a chance and you'll reach a whole bunch of people and it'll be, you know, more fresh to them as well too. Because, you know, bloggers and all these influencers are always looking for something fresh. And if you've got something dope and you've got something cool that you can, you know, share and you've got an idea and you come with them with the concept, like I don't just reach out to certain people without an idea or an angle. Like I specifically reached out to my buddy because I thought this would be a good breakdancing song and I thought it would be like a cool, you know, angle and of course uh, this guy and a bunch of other guys really thought it was. So that's the the angle we're going. So I hope that gives you some ideas of like out of the box marketing without it costing you anything potentially. Like if they like the song, they'll post it for free. And then you get, you know, 60,000 followers you know, you get your music in front of 60,000 followers and it doesn't cost you a dime. It just costs you the time to think. 
And this is the problem, right? We don't take the time to think and to strategize. We just go, whoop, we get the song and we whip it out there. But no, we're planning months in, a, in, in advance. Like, like what I like to teach my students in Fanbase University is every song needs to be celebrated. You know, we used to have CD release parties. Now we need to have single release parties. All right. So I hope that inspires you. I hope that encourages you. Keep fighting for your dreams. And if you have not joined Fanbase University where you can get coaching every single month plus access to all my trainings, go to Fanbase University. Our calls are on the 12th and 24th for a whole hour. We tend to be going way over an hour these days, actually, because there's just been so many good questions and so much good networking and things going on there. So I'd love to have you there. We ship you this really awesome package in the mail, too. When you join, you get two books in a ring. Who sends you two awesome music marketing books in a ring when you join their online coaching program? That's me right here who sends you that because we love you and we want to see you crush this. All right. Have an awesome day. So if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fanbase University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training. You get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, fanbaseuniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.